And now, before I tell you about next week's exciting adventure, I bet you'd be mighty interested in watching an exhibition of strength by our friend El Toro, whose name is Don Diamond in real life. Well, here he is, performing a mighty difficult prone press. And that's a 200-pound weight Don's using. But now watch this one. It's a very difficult military press. That's mighty hard work Don's doing. Mighty hard. And Bill Williams knows just what Don will lead when he's through. Have a coke, Don. Muchas gracias, amigo. All the time El Toro licked the wet, she think what fun it will be to drink ice cold Coca-Cola. Well, that's Don's way of saying that there's no pause like the pause that refreshes with ice cold Coca-Cola. And Don sure is right. Ice cold Coca-Cola is in a class by itself. And now I reckon you'd like to hear about next week's exciting adventure of Kit Carson. There was a certain type of criminal in early California called a land shark. And the reason why, nobody knew better than Kit Carson, as you'll understand next week. Be sure to be with us next week at this same time for another thrilling episode in the adventures of Kit Carson. Brought to you by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. <laughs> And now, before I tell you about next week's exciting adventure, let's see what's happening out in the California countryside, where half a dozen boys and girls are falling in step with Bill Williams and Don Diamond. Bill, that last shot was a beauty. Golly, Bill, aren't you and Don tired after all that rough exercise? Uh, not too bad, just looking forward to a shower and some clean clothes, eh, Toro? Got time for a bottle of Coke first? Bravo, that's the best idea I've heard since... Since, uh, uh, since the last time you had a bottle of Coke. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Even at the end of the day, Bill Williams, Don Diamond, and the gang all rally around for the pause that refreshes with ice-cold Coca-Cola. And sometimes, when you're really thirsty, that second bottle of Coke seems even better than the first one. It's a mighty delicious and refreshing drink. Ice cold Coca-Cola. Well, time to tell you about next week's exciting adventure of Kit Carson. A very pretty girl by the name of Kitty was a miner's favorite singer. She could charm gold out of a rock with a song. But it took Kit Carson to get her out of her real trouble, as you'll see. Be sure to be with us next week at this same time for another thrilling episode in the adventures of Kit Carson. Brought to you by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. And now before I tell you about next week's exciting adventure, how'd you like to visit Bill Williams for a minute? Well, after a long day of riding, shooting, and fighting as the famous hero of the West, Kit Carson, here's Bill Williams. Now do you give up? I never give up. Back up a little bit, will you, Romeo? <laughs> I'd better suck you than anything I know. Them's my sentiments. That's good. David? Hi, gang. Hi. 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 You boys and girls are learning real fast. You sure. bet. Yeah. How about a nice cold coat? Yes, sirree. There's nothing these boys and girls like better than enjoying the pause that refreshes with ice-cold Coca-Cola, especially right here in Bill's own tent. Say, Bill, they'll be ready for us in about five minutes. Good, then you got time for a Coke. I was hoping you'd say that. Yep. Don Diamond, like everybody else, sure likes to get his hands on a frosty cold bottle of Coke right out of the ice. Yes, sir. 
Everybody likes ice cold Coca Cola. And now, next week's exciting adventure of Kit Carson will be about an unusual occurrence. For a time, there was a strip of land on the border that belonged to no one and had no law, and it was there lived an outlaw the government wanted bad. And it was up to Kit Carson to get him, as you'll see next week. Be sure to be with us next week at this same time for another thrilling episode in The Adventures of Kit Carson, brought to you by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Now, before I tell you about next week's exciting adventure, let you and I see what Bill Williams does at the end of a hard day's work, making these adventures of Kit Carson for you boys and girls, huh? And here they are, Bill and Don, taking things easy for a change. And among their friends, in fact, right next to Don there, is one of the script girls who likes to join Bill, Don, and the gang in this regular end-of-the-day pause that refreshes with ice-cold Coca-Cola. And I don't have to tell you that everybody's really enjoying that frosty cold bottle of Coke, do I? Now, let's listen to the gang. You know, Bill, there's something really great about a frosty bottle of Coke any time. You're right, Don. But somehow this one at the end of the day seems to be the best one of all. That's the way I feel. Oh, you are right. right. Me too. Good. Good. Uh-oh. Time to hit the trail, gang. Anybody want to lift? Hi. 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 See you later. And there they go. A wonderful group of young folks who will tell you that their favorite drink is yours and mine too. Ice cold Coca-Cola. Here it is. Delicious, refreshing ice cold Coca-Cola. And now here's what's going to happen next week. When the telegraph wires were strung westward, it meant good for decent people, but bad for outlaws. That's why these outlaws did their best to prevent this, as you'll see next week. <laughs>